want there. This is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Leo. Hello, Leos. This is going to be your bonus reading. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, as well as the cross watcher of the Leo. All right, let's just get your cards ready. Your extended, should you wish to rent it, is gonna contain the sexual tarot magic deck cards, okay? Which means it's gonna be located in the Zodiac Intimate Extended section of my website, okay? Click on that upside down triangle below. It's gonna bring up the description page here on YouTube and all of my readings or all of the information is below, okay? That first link will take you to my website, saltwaterheelstarot.com. And then my Patreon link is also in that description box. If you love erotic tarot readings, I do them there as well. All right, Leo, you have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. <sighs> Codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic life. There was something that someone here was holding out for. They were holding out. They were waiting, if you will. They, Someone here thought something was worth it. This option, this job, this person. I know it's worth it. I know it's worth it. I'm going to wait it out. I'm going to wait it out. I'm going to wait it out. And then someone here was sadly mistaken. Someone here realized whatever this was that they were waiting for actually wasn't quite worth it. It may have been one-sided for some of you. For some of you, it was the energy of <laughs> avoiding red flags, ignoring them, ignoring huge, obvious red flags. Eight of Wands. It's like it just all starts to make sense. Everything comes at you at one time everything starts to make sense one thing after another after another after another after another you see that it's because the eight of wands can be a huge energy shift something but it appears that everything's coming at this person all at once some of you may have received some kind of communication but it feels like it's coming at someone ah look at this Look at what's waiting for you. Look at what's coming in the future. For some of you, very, 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 very soon, if not present. The King of Pentacles. This is the kind of person who's worth waiting for because they would be very solid and consistent and loyal and dependable and trustworthy and kind. They're successful. Nine of Wands, this Wounded Warrior. Some of you, if you don't do the work, when this energy comes in, there's this bit of defensiveness to it. And for some of you, you and this other person, or you or the other person, that was a Wounded Warrior. They weren't open and ready to commit. Remember you were holding out, you thought something was it? They may not have even been in the right vibration frame of mind to give you anything solid and worth it so it's either that's the person you were fucking with before or this is who you are now after you know whatever didn't work out the wounded energy the devil again it's addictions and codependency the devil can be addictions you have that here with the codependent card that is capricorn energy as well Someone here was super attached to an idea, an option, a person. Like it, 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 like they couldn't get over it. They were, they thought it was it. They were just waiting. It was this is it. There could have been what we call devil dick involved, which is where someone here, you know, is just it's sex. The sex is good, so you deal with the toxicity of it. And then it's like realizing, you know what? They kept saying that they were going to commit. They kept saying they were going to do it, and they never did. Now it's like this big, huge realization. 
the chariot that's cancerian energy this is cancer season right now that i'm doing this reading the chariot energy symbolizes something coming through something coming forth something being delivered something arriving <laughs> it's that king of pentacles that's arriving oh yep the wheel is turning honey wheel of fortune Wheel is turning, and that means that there's a turning point, right? There's a change. Wheel of Fortune can also indicate sudden um, fortune, sudden luck. It can indicate um, destined and faded circumstances here as well. All right. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Be assertive. Look for a sign. Some of you are seeing a shitload of angel numbers, a lot of signs around you. <laughs> Remember we talked about we talked about the fact earlier that some of you were avoiding the red flags. It's like you can't not see them now. It's so obvious in your fucking face. All of the red flags. It's just like, good lord, I get it, universe. I didn't see it. I get it. I see it now. It's just so in your face. The be assertive here also is about putting your foot down if you if you need to. If you need to tell someone to fuck off, then tell them to fuck off. If you need to speak up, speak your mind, communicate, then do so. Something beautiful is coming. Something that is actually worth waiting for. The coffin. There could have been some kind of an ending here. That could have been the ending we're talking about. This relationship or connection or idea of something. Something ends. Something is over. But there's a period of mourning after, right? So it's a bit of sadness to this. Someone here needed to take time to accept the loss of a person. Someone may have actually died. This could be also to mourn the, the loss of an idea or a relationship poverty somebody here feels like things just keep getting taken away from them how come i'm always left alone this could be financially right poverty money coming from nothing building themselves up but it also speaks about having things taken away having nothing expectation she expects it is she i can't even fucking talk this feminine expects it not to work out why because it always doesn't. That's someone's mentality, huh? Because it never does, because it never does, because it never does. Someone finally gets over something that has been, that has had power over them. Engagement ring. Engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, and union. Bitch, here we fucking go. Oh, you see what's coming in? What you really want, what you deserve. The runner. Runner in a codependent, codependency relationship. Fear of intimacy, listening to ego. See, for some of you, that was that energy from the past, right? Dealing with someone here who didn't want to commit. They had fear of, uh, fear of commitment. Or was that you? Whoever it was, was the wounded warrior. Okay, someone here was also running from you, maybe, if you were the chaser. And it's like, well, I'm banking on this. But I'm, I'm, I'm holding out for this because I think it's what it is. But like realizing it wasn't. It could have been trauma bonding that kept you with this person. Girl talk. Some of you are going to go away with friends, hanging out with friends, and it's not something you would normally do is what it feels like. It says time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, and having fun. So definitely feels like you're taking time out for yourself, karmic relationship, see that? So something in the past that you were banking on, holding out for, it's the realization, it's so in your face, oh fuck, it was definitely a karmic relationship. It wasn't, it wasn't what I thought it was gonna be. All right, remember we are going to do the extended if should you wish to rent it. It's now $8.88 as opposed to $11.11 because we are really tapping into the frequency of abundance, which eight symbolizes infinity and abundance. 
we're going to use a sexual tarot magic deck card. So on my website, it's going to be in the Zodiac Intimate section of the website, saltwaterheelstarot.com. If you love erotic tarot readings, follow me on Patreon. My link is also below. Um, if you wish to book a session with me, I only do them via email, saltwaterheelstarot at gmail.com. All the pricing is also listed below on that description page. Um, and when you email me, it must say in the email exactly which reading you want and how much it costs so I know how much to invoice you. And reminder, I would never, ever, ever reach out to you, DM you, or solicit you on Instagram or TikTok. Those are frauds. I only have one account on each, XI underscore Missy underscore XI. Okay, you guys? I'll see you in your extended. Love you. Bye.